Now I want to take a look at the cloning stamp tool. This tool looks like a stamp and it's a little bit more difficult to understand than the spot healing tool. With this tool we're going to try to get rid of 1938 from the top of the image. We could try to use the spot healing brush but if we do that we'll come up with some problems. Watch as I do so. Looks pretty good so far but if you'll notice as I keep going I'm ending up with some smudging issues. Do you see my smudging issues? Right here and right around here. It makes it so that you can't see 1938 anymore but you can definitely tell that there was something there that somebody covered up. So instead we can use a combination of the two tools. I'm gonna undo a few here and zoom back in. Alright, so I can use the spot healing brush a little bit, but whenever it starts to smudge, like right here, we may want to use the cloning stamp. To use this tool, we're going to talk about the difference between a soft brush and a hard brush. Let me scroll up here so you can see my brush stroke. I've got a very soft brush right now. See the hardness is at 0%. And if I pull it up at 100, then I've got a very hard brush. So let me brush really quickly here. Oh, and I've got a few issues here. I've got some settings at the top that need to be changed. Yours should be at 100 and 100, so don't worry about that. Okay. All right, so that is the hard brush. And some of you may be guessing what the cloning stamp does by now. And here is the soft brush. And you can see the difference. The hard brush leaves a hard edge around where I paint. And the soft brush leaves a soft edge around where I paint. What you want for this purpose is a soft brush. Undo those two. Now, what the tool does is it will copy one section of the photo onto another. So for example, I could, if I wanted to, click on her eye with Alt. I'm holding down Alt and click. And if I move over here, I will actually copy her eye. And I could actually copy the entire face and place it there. Isn't that kind of trippy? Undo those. What we're going to use it for is to copy a section of the curtain and overlap it on top of the smudges that we've got here. So I'm going to Alt, and you'll get that little target here, and click. This looks like a good area for me to copy. And then I can click up here, and that gets rid of the smudge. What you don't want to do is just paint, because that creates more issues. You can see the edges of where I painted. You want it to look as natural as possible. There we go, that looks pretty good. And I would continue to do the rest of this, going back and forth in between the healing brush and the clone stamp. And on this one you can see that it's smudging much more, so I will have to use my cloning stamp a bit more. I'm looking at the color right here, and I think that the color matches what's going on here. And now I'm going to have to switch because the color right here looks more like the color that's right here. So I'm alt clicking. You're going to have to change your target area, which is where the alt click is. This is your target area right here. Several times in order to make it look natural. Otherwise you'll end up with something that looks very patterny and smudgy. And here you can see as I zoom out that I've got a smudge right here. So I'll take my Alt and click and try to cover that up a little bit. That looks a bit better. And up here I've got a smudgy area. So I'm gonna Alt and click. And you just keep going until it looks right zoom out and zoom back in several times just to see that you've got something that looks natural. 
and then get rid of the last two. If you have an area that kind of bleeds off the top like this, don't worry about that. Usually you will have a image that covers the whole document so you won't have to worry about it. So take a moment to read and follow the fourth set of instructions.